This will be part three to the Illuminati card game exposed series and it might as well just become a series and soon enough I'm going to make a playlist for it because I found even more cards for part four so good news to all of you. But here we're going to be exploring some of the more of these cards and just what they're really saying and predicting. Now I do apologize I'm kind of all over the place today but I think it's for a good reason and as you can see with this card it what does it say? Plague of Demons. Disaster. This is an instant attack to destroy any place except a huge one. You must spend an action from a magic group. The power of the attack is 10, plus the power of the group summoning the demons. Huh, who's summoning the demons? If the attack succeeds, the target is devastated. If the die roll succeeds by more than 5, the target is completely destroyed. Alternatively, spend this card for plus 10 to destroy any magic group. And notice how they keep bringing up the word magic. Very interesting. Plague of demons. Oh, you mean is you mean to tell me this is a mockery of the ten plagues from the scriptures? Oh yeah, now we see what it's talking about. And by the way, these pictures and things that you're seeing of these monsters, they are demons. And guess what? When stuff starts to hit the fan, guess what's going to happen? You're going to start seeing these disgusting, wicked creatures all over the place. You're going to see rats with wings. You're going to see hybridization. You're going to see creatures that have not been seen since the days of Noah. You can look at my part two where I showed you Dinosaur Park because those will be released to the public as well. Snakes with with wings and other disgusting creatures that we're already starting to see. And where's it gonna be? Your favorite place, America and other places. But are they getting ready for this? Or have they planned it all ahead of time? Or did they know about it 30 years ahead of time? I'm telling you, this goes much deeper than any of us could ever imagine. But this card shows Atomic Monster, and it says, Disaster! This is an instant attack to destroy any coastal place. Now keep that in mind. Coastal place. It does not require an action. Its power is 16 against a huge place, 20 against any other place, but 24 against Japan or California. If the attack succeeds, the target is devastated. If it succeeds by more than 6, the target is destroyed. Or play at any time to give plus 10 to any attack to destroy the robot sea monsters or the nuclear power companies. Nuclear power companies? Oh, you mean like Fukushima. Wow, how did they know that? Not only that, but this could be a symbolic monster or a literal monster, which they're going to start showing us soon enough. I'm telling you, this goes much deeper than you think. And notice how they say coastal places or coastal areas. Is that a coincidence? Considering our government and our military are currently planning on flooding the entire coastline of America as well as flooding the state of California. Is that a coincidence right now? Through staged earthquakes and staged uh, pandemics and staged everything through Harp and CERN and other government organizations? Are they planning to unleash the monster? Are they planning to unleash the beast that they've created and are right now waiting in a secret laboratory somewhere? Are they doing all this stuff? You bet you they are. But they even tell us their plans in the car. But see, we thought it was a game. But now we know the difference. And now we see that this so-called card game is more than just a simple game. But everything is a hoax, isn't it? Everything is one great big hoax. Everything I'm telling you must be a hoax. It must be a fake, right? Because for all you skeptics out there, you better think again. Because the Illuminati have been planning all this stuff ahead of time, including hoaxes. But the real hoaxes are the ones that they're telling you about. And the, and the ones that are not hoaxes are ones to come, like the creatures that you're about to see. But why does this... But what does this have to do with anything? Because the hoaxes that you have seen, like the Sandy hoaxes and all the other hoaxes that have been going on, like the Boston bombing hoax, you can watch my the part one to learn more about that. What do all these hoaxes have to do? They've been staging and planning these hoaxes to begin with. But when things really do start hitting the fan, you're going to think it's a hoax, but it's not going to be the boy who cried hoax. They're conditioning and mentally conditioning to your mind to make you think that everything you're seeing is a hoax and everything that I'm talking about is a hoax, but not everything is a hoax, and these monsters and these creatures are no hoaxes, and when they start revealing themselves as the demons, they're not going to say that. Will you think it's a hoax?
Oh, but they've been staging everything, haven't they? Because here we have a card that says, Eat the Rich, and what does it say? Carefully orchestrating the media, you create an insane groundswell of anger, blaming the wealthy and powerful for everything. Wow, how did they know that we blame the wealthy and powerful for everything? How did they know that we blame the, the elite for everything? How did they know that? Well, unless they were the ones who made these cards to begin with, with help from the fallen angels as well, because they didn't do it along. How else could they know all of these things ahead of time? Oh, how reality is so stranger than fiction. Oh, how truth is stranger than fiction. Oh, how reality is so strange and how you are living in a fantasy because they're showing you the Loch Ness Monster. But is this made up? Is this a fairy tale? Oh my goodness, we're about to find out because it says, I saw it. It was there. Call the papers. Call the National Guard. Sell my stocks. Oh, you mean like around the time of an economic collapse? call the National Guard? You mean martial law? I saw it. It was there. Is this what they're getting ready for to show you these disgusting creatures that have not been seen for a long, long time? since the days of Noah? Is that what they're getting you mentally conditioned and prepared for? Because that's what it seems like it. And they, they know exactly what they're doing. And notice how it says again, attempt to destroy a coastal place. Why do they keep mentioning coastal places in these cards? What is the big agenda here? What do they know that we don't? Now, I thought this card was interesting, especially because it shows a picture of the full moon and it shows what looks to be like a zombie-like man looking at it. But I thought it was interesting because if you look at the Black Knight Decoded film that was done by Pepsi, they even make reference and allude to the full moon. So how could they have possibly known that? And what are they trying to get ready for? And if you look and, and carefully at the Black Knight Decoded film, you'll see it's only about a 10-minute film by Pepsi that what do they say on the next full moon if they are ready? Ready for us, we will reveal ourselves to them. Who is the we? What are they talking about? What are they getting us ready for? What are they getting us mentally conditioned for? You've been hearing and seeing a lot about Alice in Wonderland, haven't you? About time warp and time travel and all the whole nine yards. Oh, you've been seeing a lot of it, all right. But did you know that our government is involved with operations that have to do with time warp and time travel? Just look up Operation Pegasus and even Operation Looking Glass. It'll even tell you. I know it sounds crazy, but it's even prophesied in scripture that what? That the beast would do what? Think to change times and laws. Think to change times, manipulate space, manipulate time, and manipulate it to go back in time because that's what the elite are trying to do, courtesy CERN. But we know better than that. Is that what they do in order to predict things and to stage things ahead of time by going back in time and manipulating time? Oh, you bet you they do. I know it sounds strange and, and I know it sounds like fiction, but remember, you're the one living in a fantasy unless you wake up right now. Now this card is showing you the Mafia, and the reason I'm showing you this card is because it's very telling of what's going on today, because who's the real Mafia that you should be concerned about? Of course, the Jewish cartel, the elite, the Jewish Zionists, that's the real Mafia, and, who, and who's under them? Who's this represent? Represents the CIA and the FBI and other hitmen who get paid to legally go and try to kill people and cause drug trafficking, human trafficking, sex trafficking, and child trafficking behind your back. Oh, but you'll never know, will you? Because it's all classified. It's all a secret. Spy and deny. That's the goal. And remember, they have to keep the secrets because they're part of the Illuminati. That is what this is referencing to and giving homage to, just like war as well, because we know for a fact that there's no legitimate basis to go to war except to protect the pockets of the 3% bankers. Oh, and we've been doing a great job of that, haven't we? Remember, what's the goal of the New World Order? What's the goal for them? The goal is control of everything. The goal is the corporate masters who you cannot see but know them based on the signs and the hand gestures they make. You can even look at some of the pastors who make these exact same hand gestures as well. But will you do that? The reason I'm showing you this card is because it shows you what the goal of the New World Order. The goal is to control everything. To control control everything you can 
through what? Mind control. That is the goal of the new world order, to have corporate masters on top who tell us what to do every single day, courtesy the Federal Reserve, the IRS, and other scams that go along with it, and other under-the-table things, such as drug trafficking, human trafficking, sex trafficking, and child trafficking, because not only do companies like Apple and Microsoft, not only do they fail to pay their so-called taxes, which is unconstitutional to begin with, but what else do they do? They slave other children in third world countries as well, but they can get away with it, can't they? Not for long. Now this card tells so much in just a little bit, and it tells you what? The imposters, cloning, and what else? What goes on? Imposters. Just like the fake Jews. But not only that, it also tells us what? This card permits you to play from your hand the personality which duplicates one who has been assassinated. You must also spend an action from one group with an alignment in common with the personality. You automatically control the new card. The original personality no longer counts as destroyed for the goals of whomever killed them. Cloning. It's talking about imposters making two of the same person so you believe one of them. It's talking about stage-ins. It's talking about sit-ins. It's talking about multiple personalities of the same person. Oh, who can I think of that has that? Michael Jackson. Who else? Tupac. Because the real Tupac and the real Michael Jackson, whether you believe it or not, they are still alive. They're not telling you that, though. They're at least not yet. They are telling you in SNL skits, and they're even showing themselves to you at award shows and other places. But you still haven't seen them because you're brainwashed into thinking that the real one died when actually it was the clone or there was no death at all. It was all staged, hoax, and planned ahead of time. And this card even exposes that for what it really is. Is. Now, why am I showing you this card, and why is this such a good card to show? Because it shows what currency speculation. It says, use this card at any time. The power resistance of any one of your bank groups is tripled for its next action or defense. Oh, what does that remind me of? Oh, yeah, the central bank, but what else? BRICS, B-R-I-C-S, world currencies, and how they're trying to manipulate and bring together and merge world currencies, the one world currency agenda, cashless society. You cannot have a new world order without a new world currency, one world currency where everybody's using the same currency, courtesy your government. Next, we have the EFF, which says has plus four for direct control of any computer group. If the EFF helps to defend a computer group against attack, the total power spent by all defending groups is doubled. And of course, this is talking about the EFF or the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which is an actual company and an actual organization. And what they do, according to them, is that they help to defend the rights and freedoms for the digital world. More like to spy on us every single chance they get and submit our information and Google searches and everything to who the government. You mean to tell me they knew that the EFF would have something to do with the New World Order before it was even popular? popularized? How did they know that? And how did they know this would really become popular before computers were even really popular? Unless they were planning and staging everything ahead of time. Now this is a picture of the Great Pyramid and it's a very telling image because it says the keepers of the pyramid have a limited power to foresee the future. Your rivals must always show you the first plot card they draw on each turn. You may not make notes about what they show you. The pyramid is immune to tornadoes and or tomatoes and hurricanes now the reason i'm showing you this is because who well first of all who are the keepers of the pyramid who built the pyramids to begin with you can watch my video who built the pyramids or who really built them it's not who you think because it's who the nephilim the demons and their offspring the lizards and the parasites the same ones hybridization chimerism nothing new is under the sun and they can do what foresee the future just like time warp Wow, is that a coincidence? It's not looking like it. It's time to wake up and see just the real agenda behind all this.
As you can see on this card, it shows you a bunch of pictures of fishes with money symbols on them. You can see the U.S. dollar as well, but it says bank merger, and it says place an action token on each of your bank groups, even those which have already been have an action token. This card may be played at any time. This card does not benefit groups which are suffering from the effect of any card or special ability that prevents them from getting action tokens. Now, the reason this card is so telling is because, well, what's going on right now? Are banks merging together? Are banks merging for that new world order? Are banks merging currencies and stuff together in order to get rid of the currency for one world currency? Oh, you bet you they are, and that's how they're doing it, because remember, there's a power system to everything. Of course, you cannot have the Illuminati without bribery, because even the card says requires all Illuminati actions in order to bribe people and bribe the public under the table activity, and it says perhaps this will change your mind. Remember, subliminal advertising what they have to bribe you into more money bribe you into spending this and spending that bribe you into things that don't matter in order to keep you distracted from the things that do like the new world order because if you still think it's a conspiracy i think you should wake up quick fast and in a hurry Visited the dentist lately? Been to the dentist and scheduled the dentist appointment? Well, you're not alone because the Illuminati made sure to do it as well. And what did they do? Fluoride in the dentist. Fluoride in your mouth. Fluoride in the water. Poisoning and legally poisoning you. That is what this card is about. So they can what? Dumb you down so you can take the actions and orders of the New World Order. Dumb you down so that you can be subservient to the government government mind control and many dentists don't even know that fluoride is dangerous and maybe some do but if the ones at the top who do know well guess what that's even put in toothpaste well guess what they can't tell you that because of mind control because they want you to think toothpaste is okay when what are the what's the ad goes four and five dentists recommend this toothpaste four and five dentists recommend that toothpaste don't you see the agenda because everything always has an agenda but how deep does the mind control go? Because I'm telling you, it goes much deeper than you think. As you can see on this card, it says, read my lips. It says a public figure appears on national TV and talks his way out of everything. Because that always happens, and that always seems to be the case, isn't it? Why? Because they want you to believe everything they tell you is to be subservient to what they're about to do. And what are they about to do? You're about to see it in just a second. No, this is not a game, my friends. This is not a joke. This is not a hoax, but rather this is a hex because it says play this card at any time except during a privileged attack. A magic resource controlled by a rival is destroyed. Discard its card. This card requires an action by your Illuminati or by a magic group with a power of three or more. Requires magic or Illuminati action or both. What is this picture? Re Remind you of and resemble, oh yeah, Satan himself, the demons holding a sun, as in sun worship, with what, goat horns, the Baphomet? What are they showing us? And we even saw that in Childhood's End. I'm telling you, it's time to really wake up because they're about to start to show you this in real life. But will you think it's out of this world? Will you think it's aliens? Or will you wake up and see just who it really is? But trust me, they're getting help from somewhere. They're getting help from the fraternal orders, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even certain so-called religious groups like the Jehovah Witnesses and even other ones who do under-the-table things and disgusting blood sacrifices and blood rituals and other disgusting rituals and demonic initiations in order to be accepted into the brotherhood and the sisterhood. For example, Judaism is behind Freemasonry and the Illuminati. But did you know that? Well, now you do, because I'm telling you, this goes much deeper than you think. And this card even shows you and tells you what just what goes on. You think they look silly with their hats and their motor scooters. If you knew what those hats really meant, you'd never laugh at anything ever again. Because that's the truth. You wouldn't, because you'd see on the hat it even has the what? The, the Egyptian pyramid. What mystery, Babylonian religion, demonic initiations, the worship of Lucifer, the worship of Satan. That's not something to laugh at, 
is it? And the final card I would like to show you for today is called Peace in Our Time. Oh, because there's peace, all right. Oh, this card really relates to what's going on right now because it's very peaceful outside, isn't it? There's nothing much going on. Oh, the birds are still singing. The sun is still shining. Oh, it's very peaceful, isn't it? Oh, but that's all about to change because we've been seeing military tanks rampantly run the streets and on highways, haven't we? You don't think they're going to use that for martial law? I suggest you watch part one if you already haven't and think again because this card says increase the power of all peaceful groups by one or by three against an attempt to destroy the resistance of all peaceful groups is increased by three while they are part of the power structure what is that talking about NAACP Black Lives Matter groups that are so-called peaceful reduce the power of all violent or criminal groups by one this card replaces any red NWO card in play what are they getting ready for new world order order out of chaos it may be peaceful now but what does this little spider have on it time is running out time is ticking and guess who's coming the troops for martial law seek yahoo and his true son yahusha that all may be well with you because time is running out this thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video presentation if you did please subscribe to my youtube channel like the video and share it on your favorite social media sites there's a lot more to come so stay tuned and we'll see you back next time